Hi, before I will explain you how to solve these two problems, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve both problems on your own, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first problem. A woman and her spouse both show the normal phenotype for the pigmentation, but both had one parent who was an albino, and albinism is an autosomal recessive trait. What is the probability that the first child will be albino? And uh, in order to explain this problem, how to solve it, let me start with um, pedigree. So we have uh, one family, and uh, in one family, uh, one of the parents is has uh, this genetic disorder, and this is recessive genetic disorder. So that means that uh, genotype would be, for example, small a, small a, because uh, this person, in order to express this. Uh, uh, genetic disorder should be homozygous recessive and his spou spouse would be normal so they would have child for example female child that would inherit one of the dominant alleles from her mother and one recessive alleles from her father in this example so this child would be heterozygous and genotype would be capital A and small a. And uh, the same uh, picture in another family. And uh, for example, this time this can be uh, mother of the child who is going to be affected with this genetic disorder. And if they would have son, their son also would be heterozygous. Uh, just the same picture as in previous example. So would be capital A, small a. And now if this two, these two um, people, if they would mate, what is the probability that their uh, child would also uh, be affected with this genetic disorder uh, or would have genotype that is small a, small a, or homozygous recessive. And as you see, we have uh, genotypes of the parents, and both of them are heterozygous. They do not uh, express this genetic disorder. They are phenotypically normal, because one of the alleles that is capital A is uh, enough in order to produce um, pigment, for the normal skin color. So in order to solve this problem, we just have to you to build a Punnett square. And here would be one of the parent, for example, male. And on the side would be heterozygous um, female. And when we build a Punnett square, we can find frequencies of the genotypes and probability for their child also inherit uh, this genetic disorder. Uh, not just inherit, but express this genetic disorder. And as you see, chances are one out of four for the child to be, to be affected with this genetic disorder. And also three out of four chances for the child to be uh, phenotypically normal and two out of four chances that uh, he is going to be heterozygous for this trait so phenotypically normal but would be carrier of this uh, genetic disorder so chances to be phenotypically normal is three quarters or 75 percent so uh, the correct answer here would be answer B. And next question, if the first two children have normal pigmentation, what is the probability that the third child will have an albino? So once again, we have two heterozygous parents. And uh, if the first two children would be phenotypically normal or would belong to 
one of these genotypes, what is the chances that the third child uh, would be albino or would uh, belong to this uh, genotype. And in order to solve this problem, we just have to understand that um, when child born, it um, can get random genotype according to this uh, Punnett square, but it has no any influence on the genotype of uh, following child. So uh, every time when child is born, he can get uh, chances according to this Punnett square to inherit this genetic disorder. So the chances that third child would uh, be uh, would inherit this uh, genetic disorder would be one out of four, and this is would be answer B. And if you rephrase this um, question, for example, what is the chances uh, for the child to express this genetic disorder? If you have three children, this would be a completely different uh, question. In this case, in this scenario, we have to add all these probabilities. So, for example, for the first child, probability would be one quarter to inherit this genetic disorder. For the second child, also, probability would be one quarter. And for the third child, probability would be one quarter. And in this scenario, we have to add all these three probabilities, or this is the same as uh, one quarter plus one quarter would be one half chances. And if we have three children, uh, this is going to be uh, 0 0.75 or 75 percent. So in this scenario, there are going to be probability. 75%. But as long as our problem asks us for the probability for the third child to be albino, uh, taking into consideration that the first two ch children uh, were phenotypically normal, the correct answer once again would be one quarter because this is uh, completely independent events. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.